All right, our current run with our growing blade is uh, is doing work. There is no two elite path. This this elite in the middle has the most recovery time after it in case we get beat up. So we'll go there. Oh yeah, we have a shard to spend. Let's see, more more improvement or anything from a one to a four or be able to use odds. We might get to the point where we want to be able to do an additional meta magic and do three blades in one turn. So we'll do that. I think the elites are better because of the shards that you get from them, but maybe that's uh, maybe that's outdated logic. He's doing 16, so we'll need to do this. And I think we just get one hit off here. I would like the UI to be a little more responsive. way for me to get one more my my dream of another growing blade is not uh is not happening but that's okay I should be careful. I should make sure that sixes are the ones that are going into Growing Blade. Things are starting to pop off a little bit, though. I will say. Sapling for the kill. See, now it says 18. There's something weird going on with that thing. Spirit of the Forest. On 10, gain 4 power. On 12, add 1 charge to all other spells. So for 2 sixes, we could get the same value that we're getting out of Mend Magic? Nah, that's not... I don't think that's interesting. Well, we could get two charges out of this for two sixes. Two sixes become two charges? That might be better. Yes, I believe charges do overcharge in Lustrous. So most combat paths... I don't think most combat paths benefits us that much, unfortunately. I think I think we're better off going for this one, and then we have an event in a sanctuary. Because I, I don't really know the Act 3 elites that well yet. Roll two saplings, start fully charged. Uh, plus three to value of all dice. Fortune's favor is pretty good. I was hoping I would get something with a two cooldown. I think saplings are good for us. Although that's going to be a little late to the party. All right. Gain invoke mana. Roll two dice, unrestorable. Five into two dice. Pretty good. Duplicate dice. Also pretty good. A shard for 29 max health. Big oof. I, I don't think we want any of these because I don't think any of them fit in our deck. Unfortunately. But I think the Elite is really important.
Eight by three. There's a lot right off the get. Oh, but this starts fully charged. Oh, now I know what that means. Ah, that's exciting, actually. Now we got a lot of saplings to work with. I was hoping for a five, but I guess we can use a six like that to make it work. Yeah, okay, roll two saplings, starting fully charged. Now I understand it, and it is very nice. So unstable, what the heck are you gonna do? Spawn an instability enemy. Okay. So he's gonna for 16. I think I'm mostly gonna play some defense on this turn. I don't need to spawn any exploders at least not that turn I think I've reached peak dice right now <laughs> that's a lot of dice uh, let's see boop that so you're weak I think with the way things are feeling now, I do want to go Soul of the Forest. Hold on, I should make sure that I'm actually defending here. Dice split up into another row. Again, wish I could remember what triggered all of my splitting. That was a wild run. It sounds like one. So you're saying Sanctify Shell. Gain two block, depleted roll of five or a six. Yeah, I, I could see the value of it. I don't think it's for this run, but gain two block. Increase block by one this combat. Bastion is just like scaling block, which is interesting. Deal six damage and apply two dazed. I mean, it's none of these unfortunately add one charge to a random spell casting spell costs one so th that's interesting like if that lands on our blade it's huge what are we what do we have left to upgrade we can still upgrade nurture growing blade is upgrade stock is upgrade gleaming exterior is upgrade ah spare the forest we swap those in and we take the we take the shard And then that replaces meta magic, uh, mend magic. It's a little less flexible, but I think it's good. Then we have a shop with a decent amount of money. And then we can do three more combats on the way. Pox Flare. Deal six damage, apply one pox. On reaching three pox, deal ten damage and remove three stacks of pox. I, I want to do a pox run at some point. That would be cool. Uh, reduce health loss by one. Up to two random dice persist between rounds. On 10 cast spells, reroll all dice. So I like this. Two random dice are held. Seems good. Uh, Silver Hauberk, I also think is good. I think we can sell Fortitude now. Sell Morphosis. I'll sell Glint Glaive. And then, what's the best potion here? Ooh, Energizing Potion. Seems very nice. Okay. Do we want to get rid of anything else? The regen, I don't think we're going to use. Let's get a Blast Pot. It does have to be two sixes, but I think, I think that's doable for us. I, I wanted to keep Mend. Oh, do we get a Shard when we do that? That's an interesting thought.
I'm gonna let the let them marinate. See, I think good things are happening right now. That felt like good things were happening. Uh, let's see. Yeah, Spirit, Spirit of the Forest gives us so much flexibility. Yeah, no, it's, it's okay that they don't, from my perspective, at least. Like, I, I think we're going to get... We're going to be able to do that every turn pretty effectively. I think. Mm, hold on a second. Let's use a six and a four to do this. So is this guy just going to summon someone every turn? Maybe we can't wait too long on this guy. I think I need to blow this guy up next turn. I think I, I waited too long. Um, we can just hold on to the two, right? It gets auto-saved. If we, if we save two. But yeah, we have a lot of sixes, and I think that... That's the, that's the key. Is we can, we can mint sixes, and then as soon as... Well, I just, I was just made a liar, but... So without a second six. <laughs> uh, maybe we actually... I'm going to use this and see if we get a six. I know. As soon as I said it in Lustrous, as soon as I said it... So if I sell mend magic, I get back the shard. Is that is that what people were telling me? Trapped in this, uh, on turn one, roll a dice. Seems really good. Dark arts apply to rupture, increase rupture by two. This combat or branding tonic. We have lots of marked as an option, so this seems really good. Do we want to stock here? We probably do. Well, we haven't we haven't gotten any defense going yet. That's probably not great. I probably shouldn't use actually Oaken Shelf is no longer useful, right? Cause if I if I can get to Gleaming Exterior, it's it's insanely good value. Yeah, okay. We should we should replace Oaken Shelf. Good intel.
Now, technically, if we leave one of these fives, he gets stunned. Yeah, so he won't attack. But then he's going to come back critting next turn. So. This just needs to be a big turn. Yeah, I agree. Not Probably not the best fight to stall. I'm not really stalling on purpose, but... We're, we're a little starved for high numbers right now. So there. <laughs> that we we need to use potions that's why i i did that as a side note deal x plus x damage two times savagery seems like it could be fun for a build also We need to use two more. We need to use our last two potions in this fight, okay? So spell echo and plus two charges. Don't let me forget. I don't think there's anything else to do. Oh, yeah. Oaken shelf. Do we... Eh, in case we don't get sixes, I think it's it's good to have it in our hip pocket. Yeah, I, I, I think it's a good idea. We should have a second block. I, I think it could just... It could go terribly wrong if we're not careful. I'm seeing a lot of fives, game. Seeing a lot of fives. Well, this is this is why we kept. That's why we kept Oaken Shelf. We took one damage. Can't help but notice the sixes are not coming. Okay, there's a six. So let's see. So we can do a five. Two sixes. I think we next turn we have the three odds, so let's let's try and get good value here. Broke my blade. This may not be a good turn to do... To roll three odd dice. We may want to save it. Let's see what kind of naturally comes up.
Yeah, we can push him over to the next phase. And that's the most we can do anyways. We'll get a bless for next turn. He's thieved my beast from within. Oh, look at this. We'll definitely get the saplings out. We'll do that. And we'll do this. We're at 18 of 28. Let's use the spell echo just for damage. Actually, let's, uh, just to make sure that we use it. Let's do that. We get, we get extra bless from it, which I think is good. Oh, we don't have we don't have stock anymore. That was a bit of an error. Because you for you're forced uh, of nature, you repaired the spell. The beast within did not get plus two spell charges. Good to know. Good to know. Actually, that's very good to know. 37 damage is a lot. We've already stocked. Um, so we can't really we can't really benefit here. Um, I'll just do that, I guess. We're gonna end up taking ten, but that's okay. Well, I hope that's okay. I do I mean I'd like to hit him twice yeah I don't think that's that's just not in the cards here hitting him twice would have been really nice for sure but Hey, Brian, thank you for the resub. Welcome on back in. Things are things are going well over here. How are things going for you? All right, let's see. What do we got going on here? Do I have any twos? No twos. So let me do this. Sixteen by two means we definitely want to stock. Get that down. We can only hit him once though, so we need to we need to be a little chilly. Still thirteen by two. Let's do that. I wanted a five, uh, but I guess we can just do this. Bless is doing good work, I must say. Uh, we need to make sure that before we get the kill, we use that last one. 
Uh, weak, weak does stack, yes. All right, now we're now we're in the final, the final phase of things. Six wasn't six was not it, but I guess we can at least get a little bit of mitigation there. Next turn I need to use this. The Spirit of the Forest is infected. Well that's fine. Let's not use Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna use this and we're gonna get more charges for gleaming exterior. Make sure we're relatively blocked up. We're setting up for a kill next turn. That's the plan. Uh, I don't think I quite had the kill, but maybe I did. Maybe you're right. Either way, we got it. We got it on this turn. All right, this is a pretty cool run. the The beginning was a little a little odd, but we uh, we managed to do it. Oh, potion on blade was GG. Good call, but we we got both of them done. We, oh, kill 30 enemies that are attacking. Oh, we missed one of those. Uh, but we got the potion achievement. We won with Earth B. We reached level 4. We're up to 9 dice. Pretty decent run. Yeah, that was a really interesting run. I, I do think that right now the, the path to success is, is pushing hard on getting elites. Elites are really important. Yeah, the the blade was interesting. I it the problem with the game is is there isn't there isn't that much room. Like I don't think you could go much beyond thirty something damage with it, uh, which I think other things scale better than that. But yeah, solid run, solid run. We unlocked mulch. So mulch is plus two to the value of the lowest dice. Return dice with minus one value. So it decrements the die, die that you put in by one and increases your lowest die by two. Huh. Gain three block, depleted gain three block. And javelin, deal X damage. Okay, nice. New spell available, new spell available. So we should check in here. So spirit arrows has been unlocked. Deal one damage to a random enemy X times. Ooh, with power... Spirit Arrow is very interesting. And then a new spell, a new ritual. Instantly cast target spell. Use highest possible value for the die. Ooh. So let's see. So we just did a Hazel run. That makes Hazel level four, Hazel level four. So Zar is next up, it looks like. 